All right, so let me show you how to create a GKE cluster. So we'll go to Kubernetes engine in GCP or Google Cloud Console. And we'll say create cluster. Now, when you click on create cluster, you will get two options. Okay. One is the uh, autopilot cluster. Okay, you can see that automatically there is an autopilot cluster which is getting created. So in autopilot cluster, you don't need to define a number of nodes. So based on the number of containers you are creating, automatically the number of nodes would keep on scaling. Okay, and then you have the standard cluster where you can define the number of nodes. Let's say that I want three nodes, four nodes, ten nodes. I can define those number of nodes. Okay, so let's say that I'm going with the standard cluster. I will say gk prod cluster okay then you can define that you want this uh cluster to be zonal or regional if you select zonal all the nodes would be created in one single zone okay that is one c in the scenario U us central one c and if you select regional then it would be distributed across the central one region us central one region okay then select regional over here you can select the uh, you can select the release of the kubernetes Okay, so I'll go with the uh like the stable release channel. Okay, then you can go to node con uh, pool configuration, node pool configuration where there is a default pool which is getting created, and it is saying that each zone will have three nodes. Okay, I don't want these many nodes. So let's say that I want in each zone one node. The total of three nodes would get created over here in the scenario. Okay, then if you want to set up the auto scaler for the cluster, so if there is load automatically, additional nodes should be added. You can enable node auto scaler, okay, or cluster auto scaler, okay. You can define the, or you can specify the uh, nodes to region in which region which node would be created like this. So I want all the three regions should be used, okay. So like this, I can select. I can just simply remove this. Let it automatically decide, okay. Next. You can define the node operating system, size of the node, okay, disk size of the node, all those things over here. You can define the networking details, okay. So if you want to uh, use uh, some custom network, let's say you have created your own network and you want to use that network, you can do that from here. Security related things like service account, okay, you can do it from here. You can enable secure boot, you can enable confidential uh, GKE nodes if you want to. Okay, and if you want to pass on any metadata, okay, any taints, Okay, any Kubernetes labels, you can do all those things from here. Okay, so these are the settings which you can do. And finally, you can click on create and that will create the Kubernetes cluster for you, you or GK cluster for you. So it's submitting right now. And the cluster is cluster creation is in progress.